Well, actually, before you do, and we're going to want to pick your brain, uh, but before you do, how about take a moment and just tell everybody how in the world it is you're qualified to talk about what you're talking about. <laughs> well, that's a good question because there are a lot of fake qualified, uh, unqualified people out there nowadays. So, uh, you know, I got my real estate. Well, I first got inspired to get into real estate after growing up poor in Los Angeles, California. I didn't like being poor very much. I wanted to, you know, when I turned 16, I wanted to have a cool car and all this stuff like all the other kids did. And uh, I didn't have any of that. So I saw a, an, uh, an infomercial of a guru and I read three chapters of his book put it down. My mom read the rest. She got really interested. And um, anyway, fast forward. Uh, when I was in my first year of college, I was 19 years old. I got my real estate license just so I could learn the business, learn the basics. And I started helping uh, first time buyers and investors buy government repo properties. These were really bad, really ugly properties. They had, you know, the windows were boarded up. They were disgusting, most of them. And uh, anyway, I sold some of those to clients. And about six months into my, my career, I was now 20 years old. There was this one client, his name was Jim Wool. He bought a few properties from me. And I, I was just a kid, but I was, I was working hard. I was selling properties, driving people around in my Volkswagen Jetta and doing the whole thing. And, uh, uh, you know, Jim Wool came to me and said, Jason, you know, one of these properties I bought from you, I don't like it too much. Uh, why don't you take the listing, sell it for me, and I'll buy, I'll buy something else from you. And I said, Jim, I don't want to sell it for you. I want to buy it from you. And that was my first investment property. I still lived at home with my mom, but I had a rental property at age 20. And uh, uh, it was actually, you know, it, it was okay at first. Uh, but then guess what happened? Like, uh, like many investors with horror stories, I had my, my first deal was a, a deal that could have discouraged I would have had every right, Jay, to just give up right there because the tenants stopped paying rent mm. and I had to evict them. My very first tenant, I had to evict. Uh, and so I was pretty discouraged. They beat up the property and all of that. And so I thought I was going to give up. So I sold the property and I actually made some money on the sale. So that was okay. And uh, then I bought another property and another one and another one and another one. And, you know, I've had hundreds of tenants, maybe probably over a thousand tenants now over the years, maybe a couple thousand even, I, I don't even know. Uh, and a whole bunch of properties in a lot of different locations. Uh, and then we help, um, well, I had a traditional real estate company. And in 2005, I sold it to Coldwell Banker. It was in Southern California. And um, I sold that. And about a year before, as I was negotiating the deal with Coldwell Banker, it took a long time to negotiate. I started thinking about what's my next gig? What am I going to do? And I had a non-compete agreement. You know, I knew I'd have that. And um, I, I just, my first love was always working with investors. So I started looking at investing nationwide, which I had never done before. And this was in 2004, as I was kind of negotiating the deal with Coldwell Banker to buy the company. And um, I started flying around the country. I started researching other markets. And Jay, it was so difficult to do this by myself. I just, I just had a really tough time. You know, realtors, most of them don't know anything about investing. Um, and it was very hard to get property managers that were good. I couldn't get people to return my call. I'd, I'd fly into a city. I'd only have a few days there. So I had to do things really quick. And I just thought, this is too difficult, but I want to be a nationwide investor because I remember, uh, it, you know, over the course of my traditional real estate career, as I was investing, you know, there were some times in the Orange County, California real estate market where, you know, it, there were some tough markets. I went through some cycles and I thought, you know, I don't want to do that again. I want to diversify geographically. I always thought, Income property is the most historically proven asset class in the entire world, but it's local. There's an old saying in real estate. I'm sure you've heard it. You've probably repeated it. All real estate is local. All yeah. real estate is local, right? You've heard that one. And um, uh, so I, I thought, well, I should just diversify geographically be in the best asset class, income property, but diversify geographically. So if one area is up, the other area is down, I'll be okay. I can even things out. And that's what I was trying to do for myself. And what I realized is that 
after I was trying to do it to my, for myself, for my own account, I thought, you know, there's probably a lot of other people that feel the same way I do. And they would love it if, if there was like a, a financial services firm for real estate investors. So like many entrepreneurs, many would be entrepreneurs, they experience a challenge or a problem themselves and they think, why isn't there a better way? And so I basically created this business I'm in now to become my own customer. I was the first customer in my business. And, uh, you know, I, I established a network of providers and a whole team and an infrastructure that could help people build nationwide real estate portfolios and invest nationally, not just locally. So that's, that's, awesome. that's, that's awesome. kind of the start. And, and fast forward, I've been doing this now, I guess, 17 years. And, um, uh, you know, we've helped thousands of people buy properties nationwide. We've got, you know, zillions of testimonials from clients that have just, you know, really made fortunes uh, following our plan. And it's just a pretty simple plan. It's, it's not a do-it-yourself plan. It's a kind of a done-with-you plan. We help people do it. And, um, uh, and, and that's, that's leads us up to where we are now. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, in answer to the question, how are you qualified to do what you do? You've been doing it 17 years and you've been involved in several thousand transactions and you're helping thousands of others do the same thing that you are nationwide, making sure that they're in the right markets that they should be. So Jason, I want to turn it over to you for you to present the information that I ask you to bring here and do. And I know you're going to share your screen, but for those of you that are tuning in on iTunes or Google play, don't worry. You're not going to miss out on a thing. Jason's going to make sure you understand this information just with you listening on audio. So take it away, Jason. Yeah. Good stuff. 